the capital chaos in Madison, the budget battle is now a legal battle. Republicans maintain they followed the open meetings laws. I talked to the leader of the Senate Republicans about the appeal. And the thing that's, that we're really kind of questioning at this point is uh, the separation of powers issue. Um, fairly surprised that uh, the judge actually had weighed into how the legislature should function and question the Senate's rules and the assembly rules. The judge's decision last week was a small victory for Democrats who opposed the law. Democrats I talked with told me they think the judge made the right ruling to temporarily stop the law until there can be a full hearing on whether the open meetings law was broken. Well, the Republicans may have done something illegally and then they may have done it in an illegal fashion. So I think it's up to the courts to, to straighten that out. Now today, Republicans are also raising some questions about the judge in this case, Judge Marianne Sumi, and whether there could be a conflict of interest. We'll break that down for you coming up at 6 o'clock. We here in Wisconsin own our government. We own it. Dane County Judge Mary Sumi temporarily stopped the collective bargaining law, citing the probable failure of Senate leaders to follow open meetings law by giving the people who own government just two hours notice of a key legislative conference committee meeting. This was something that would and did catch the public unaware. It's hard for me to believe that that, that comment could even be treated with any kind of, of uh, dignity. It Republican Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald was yeah, involved in calling that committee meeting. Fitzgerald also believes Sumi had no business sitting in judgment of the collective bargaining law. She probably should have been conflicted out of ever ruling on this in the first place. Fitzgerald points to Sumi's son's former employment with unions. In a statement of response, Sumi wrote, My kids are adults. I do not consult my family about my decisions. The appeal focuses on Sumi's decision arguing while the judiciary can evaluate legislative actions when those actions are complete, it may not stop the legislative process in its tracks.